Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 15, let's play Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I did my fair share of grinding, so why don't I buy some chips? And before I go to bed, why don't I actually head on over to the... I'm gonna head on over to the mine. Because apparently there's a couple things I missed. So why don't I actually do a little bit of shopping just to grab some random stuff. I think I'll buy a Super Vulcan. I think there's only one there because it's a Mega Chip. And I'll buy an Ice Seed Egg because I never had one yet. So that was a good idea to make sure you have at least maybe one of everything to make your life a little easier. Oh, the bus kiosk is over there. Never mind. Yeah, a couple more things are available to you now that you can go, well, take care of this stuff. First, we'll head in this direction over here. Yeah, I did a lot of training just to get some money. It was well worth it. What are you doing behind the boxes? Hmm? What am I doing here? Was it to you? It's a free country, ain't it? I like empty places like this. <laughs> now that you know, get lost, will ya? No, no, no! Wait a minute. We didn't meet here just by chance. I'll let you have this rare colored tornado chip. Cheap. You can't get it anywhere else. It's a real find. Huh? Where did I get it? Does it really matter? Hehehe. <laughs> 500 zennies for this rare chip. Do you want it? I'll buy it. Here you go. That's a dark torn tea. You got a great deal there, <laughs> All right, so this is a pretty much a tornado that expands when hit. I can think of some other things that can expand when hit. <laughs> I'm talking about swelling. You get hit around the face, your eye will swell. Did you think I meant something else? Shame on you. Alright, now let's head deeper into the mine, because there's something else we have available to us now. It's always a good idea to just, like, backtrack to previous areas, because as time goes on, the more you progress into the game, the more new stuff you can even find. Like that guy up there, we actually saw his boots, or sneakers. So he could have something good for us. I mean, first we gotta get to him, but still. We will soon enough. It's not a very huge place that's gonna take you, like, minutes. Yeah, it's Mr. Famous! Hey, Lynn! What am I, Mr. Famous, doing around here? Wait, what? No! You're not Mr. Famous, Lynn! Don't you mean, what are you, Mr. Famous, doing around here? I've developed an anti-nebula navy. But he won't listen to me. Maybe you just need more gym badges. I'm trying to train him here. You up for a net battle with Gridman? Sure. And I gotta pull any punches. Brace yourself. Go for it, Lan. Leave it to me. Battle routine set. Execute. Go, Gridman. Oh, we got ourselves a new boss to fight, Gridman. Okay, so this one has 700 HP, and it's basically a football player navvy. That actually intrigues me. Yeah, I figured I'd only get this much. Okay, he likes to create clones of himself, and they like to do uh, football shoulder tackles. The clones just take a couple of hits to destroy, and they, they go back after a few seconds. His pawn attack can pretty much target all around the, uh, well, like a 2x2 two two area, so be very careful with that. Okay, I say we pretty much got- oh, let's tell me this is not gonna miss. Oh, it didn't miss, good. When he does like that little bullet pass, it's, it's pretty fast, but you can avoid it. All right, I say this will do him in. Not a 
didn't know it bounced like that. Okay. And goodbye. Didn't even take a single hit. So I got Gridman F. Okay. I guess we're not in sync yet. Look out next time. Oh, I can find him again. Well, let me save first. And then we'll have the rematch. Actually, it's not the... It's completely the same. I thought it would be somewhat different because the dialogue was different, saying we're, we're in sync now, so I thought he would have like more of an edge. But I was wrong. I believe he doesn't even hit that hard, actually. Let's try this new Django chip. I tested it out, it's actually pretty good. Like, the coffin will show up in a 3x3 area, I believe. Oh, never mind. I tried it once and it worked. So I'm guessing there's still a little bit of fine tuning to it. Alright, well, I'm gonna try this then. Oh yeah, I don't like your chances. Oh, you're vulnerable pretty much. And goodbye, again. I think the time was pretty much the same from the first one, around 37 seconds. Yeah, I'm done with you. So, I'm gonna head back to bed. Well, in-game bed, so give me a few minutes. Alright, we made it back, so let's go to bed. Yeah, let's save and overwrite. Good night, Lan! We restored the network that leads to Scilab area, but we couldn't make it to the occupied area. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to see how things develop. I just can't stand knowing that our enemies are right around the corner, but we're not able to act. I know what you mean. You've got mail. It's from Pride. I'll read it. Lan, I was mining a magno mining magno metal on Oran Isle when a ninja navvy challenged me to a battle, saying he wanted to test my abilities. And in the blink of an eye, he stole some vital Nightman programs. Nightman is immobilized without those programs. Please, lend us your help. Wow. A ninja navi? That must be Shadow Man. First us, then Pride and Nightman? What's he up to? At any rate, we've got to help Nightman. Mining Magno Metal. That must mean the drill. Let's head for Oran Isle. Oh, we gotta head back there. Is that the same mail that I read? Yup, it is. Alright, so I guess we gotta go back to Oran Isle. This time I'm gonna like head on over to the drill area. Let's head over there at once. It's annoying because I just came back from there. Well, no reason to go that way. Wait, there was another, like, crank over there. Can I do something with it now? I hope I can. But it was pro we probably passed it, so it doesn't matter. Let's head for the drill instead. I hope I'm going in the right direction, like, going straight for the drill. And that it's on a completely out of the way area. It's designed to trick ya. But then again, Princess Pride should be around the drill area since she was mining. 
so I doubt she would be too far from here. Pride? How's Nightman? Plan, thank goodness you're here. Like I said in the mail, a ninja navy came and stole Nightman's thought, speech, movement, and attack programs. Then he scattered him in the drill comp. Now Nightman can't speak, think, move, or attack. It's as if his memory banks have been wiped clean. I see. But he chose not to delete Nightman, which proves Shadow Man's not a Nebula agent. Shadow Man? That Navi was Shadow Man? Right. He was once a member of Gospel. So why didn't you recognize him? Well, officially Shadow Man never belonged to Gospel. The head of Gospel had him working as a hired gun. In fact, only a few Gospel members knew of him. His name is all that I've heard. Did it go to you as well? Yeah. Just what are they plotting? I don't know. But for now, let's find Nightman's program. Yeah, we can figure out this mystery later. Okay, Pride, we're off. Plan, you're a godsend. We'll have those programs back, Pride. Let's go, Mega Man. Okay. So they can pretty much be in any of these. It might just be one memory program in each. Well, there's four programs and there's four drill computers, so it would make perfect sense to have it like that. Oh, this thing ain't moving. So we don't have to worry about rocks. We still gotta worry about pinning the ass enemies, though. Until they actually just go right in front of me and just get demolished by Lizard Man's attack. I noticed I could have gone with like a little blaze it dialogue since I see my HP is 420. <laughs> but that would just be too easy. Ah, uh, green mystery data. Do I really want to go out of my way to get it? Whoa, there's a Drixol EX. That's a new virus. Was not expecting that one. Right, right next to our standard Powie. I did that too early, didn't I? Yep, I jumped the gun. I don't really think it attacks you any differently than the other one did. It just has a little bit more HP, that's all. That's all there is to it, really. I really hope I'm going the right way, though. Like, usually the computers that we use to disable them are around here. This is... Ah, it's the mind program. Okay, so they must be right next to the drill consoles. Because that was like the very end of it. It makes sense to put them there rather than in a completely isolated dead end. That would be a jerk thing to do. So I guess I should just keep following where the conveyor belts all are and go as northeast as possible. That's pretty much the only way to go around it. That was pretty much a bad idea, taking that dumb damage. At least I got money out of it. At this point, I'd rather money than chips. Because the chips here pretty much lost their value to me. Ah, we're cut 50 H. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see. Cut twice, once wide, once long. Okay. That probably didn't stand a chance. Neither did that guy. I 
think I gotta go this way, do I? Or am I going backwards? I don't think I'm going backwards. Hope not, at least. Maybe I gotta work my way down, then get back up? Come here. Nice. Seven hundred zennies, beautiful. All right, so this was the wrong way. So was that? All right. Oh, where or oh, where can this thing I'm looking for be? Maybe I gotta work down and get back up. Who knows? Anything is possible, all things considered. So we try a map of this place. Yeah, this game would have definitely benefited from a mini map system. It really would have. Given that there's so many branching pathways. Like, you wouldn't have it available to you right from the start. I mean, if you just went around and took care of the area, then you can pretty much have a mini-map. Not have it available from the start. That would really be a godsend. But, we don't have a mini-map. The only maps you're gonna find if you look them up on the internet. So there's that. But, all things considered, I mean, we're gonna be okay just a bit of a pain in the balls, that's all. Oh, these, these guys move so fast. Maybe that's what the EX versions do, they move laterally more fast than their predecessors. Oh, we got the talk program. Beautiful. So that's two. I don't know why I pressed A there. But, I think it's time for us to move on to area three. I think I can go for that mystery data right now, actually. And regret it, because that's a chip I would never use. It has its uses, but what I got is just better. Bubble spread and a big V. Alright, let's try it. Let's try this old flying V. Did its job. Thank God that did not miss by a mere inch. Alright, so, I think I see the program, but I gotta get around to it. Unfortunately, these down arrows still work, so... There's that. Just what I was hoping you do. They always fall from my plans. Yeah, they still work. So yeah, you pretty much gotta go around them. Oh, here we go. The move program. There's only one more left. That one only took like a couple minutes. So we're definitely getting somewhere. Oh yeah, good to know we don't have to deal with that crappy conveyor belt again. Alright, let's head over this way, I believe. I think this is the way. We got more pathways to go. Why do I still not buy sneak runs? I should start taking advantage of them by now. We pretty much got to the point where they're borderline necessary. Oh, if I could have my time back, I would have, like, go after, well, 
the other one first. So I can use the air shot on that one. Eh, doesn't matter. I still completed my task of killing bats. Drill arm 1J, alright. Oh, I see the program. I'm just gonna get to it. Remember, we had to find a console to disable the program. Now we should have it. Maybe you gotta like put it like right on top. Yeah. Now I get it. You have to seal the enemy in the coffin. Like you have to be like three spaces in front of the enemy directly, and then any viruses on top adjacent to it also get hit by these rays of light. That's why I did it wrong the first time in this episode. Oh, now we got the attack program. So that's all four. Pride! We found all four programs! Hurry and reinstall them into Nightman! Indeed! Nightman! Reboot! Nightman! Nightman! Lady Pride, I am terribly sorry. I have failed to perform my duty. You don't have to apologize. But you should thank Lan and Mega Man. They're the ones who found your stolen programs. Lan, Mega Man, you have done a great service to me. I will be sure to repair your kindness. Don't mention it. We could do for a teammate. Right, Mega Man? Yep. But shoot! That Navi must be something else. To be able to slip past Nightman's tough defenses. It was all over before I knew what was happening. His incredible speed and agility. He's no ordinary Navi. Well, thank you for such generosity. Your team has power and technique, but it's short of speed. You're no match for Nebula at this point. If there's any hope at all, it's in your leader. You went to Barrel too? A very capable leader indeed. But even the best leader is powerless without a good team. Just what are you trying to pull? Spying on us every chance you get. You shall know soon enough. If you have what it takes, that is. But wait! He sure knows how to beat a quick retreat. Lan, we better report this to Beryl? You're right. Beryl might know something about them. See ya, Pride. We're gonna get going. Okay. Be careful. I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of him. Right. Like, what is he insinuating at? Is he looking to join us? Also, I might as well just head back here because, well, there is a crane. Maybe I can do something with it now. Oh, it's just still not working. All right. I guess I'll leave it alone. Okay, I guess we're heading back to Mission Control and Scilab. That's pretty much the only place we can go to. Hey, yeah, that's right. No, no, don't leave Scilab. Whoa, what's this? Hello, everybody. This is Electopia Scilab. Before you go inside, I'd like to give you some background. Oh, the building is nothing more than a facade. Yeah, it's about the staff. That's right. Okay, that was just all flavor text about a tour. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd have some sneak runs. Disappointing. I 
I was just talking to everybody to see if there was anything different. Huh. Still, same dialogue there. Yeah, let's go. Barrel! Did a ninja navy come here? You mean Shadow Man? Yes, he did. He has quite the nerve. I take it he paid you a visit as well, then. Wow! He got through the security of this place? Do you know who they are? His name is Dusk. He travels the world, deleting navvies for a fee. He's an assassin. His navvy, Shadow Man, is one of the fastest, most agile navvies in the world. An assassin! What reason would he have to bother us? Only he would know the answer to that. This is all that we know at this time. Without more data, we'll just have to stay alert. Rest assured! Speaking of alert... This is Observation Room 7. Beryl, do you read? Nebula is on the move! Scilab area net corruption will be upon Oron area. Understood. Lynn! Head for the net. Nebula is contaminating the net. The Oron area net has likely taken a big hit. You'll have trouble checking in from Oron Isle. Take the road from ACDC area. Roger. Do not underestimate your foe. All right, so we gotta head back to Oron area. We gotta do it through the ACDC route, fair enough. It's gonna be a bit of a lengthy route though, but it is what it is. So I guess I'm gonna have to like end the episode here, and in the next part, I'll meet you around the Oron area. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>